So now let's walk through the process of the functions of the app and how you can control those functions using just your phone. So now we've set up our camera, the camera is set up. We could always expand the view of the app. And now it's expanded. So you see. Now we can control the camera right from the app. If we want to move the camera, you just tap on this button. If you want to move it down, you tap on the button. If you want to move it to the side, you tap on this, and you tap on this. Now what about other functions? Now that you've set up your camera and you want to check old footages that your camera has already covered, how do you do it? It's very simple. On the home page like this, all you have to do is tap on this button here. If you look, you see that your footages are currently saving to the cloud, but you've not activated cloud. And now, since we have a memory card inside, we don't really need the cloud. So all you have to do is just tap on this icon here. And it has automatically changed from cloud to your SD card. So now every footage from the camera is going to be saving directly to your memory card that is in the camera already. And this is one of the footages that has been saved from. You see, this is, uh, this is an old footage, so you could always fast forward it or take it back in case you want to watch old footages. I'll just press back to go back to your. You see this button here? It will take you back to the live view of your camera. So this option is when you want to check for old videos. How about if you want to talk to somebody, you are not in the same room with your camera and you want to communicate with somebody that is in the room with your camera. That's also very simple. All you have to do is tap on this mic button here in the middle. So you just tap on it and now you can talk. So whoever is in your camera automatically. So simple. Now that we're done talking, let's turn it off. What about if you want to hear people around your camera? If you click on this speaker icon here, you see that it is currently turned off. But if we turn it on, then you can hear every single conversation that is going on around the area that your camera is installed. But if something is happening in your area and you want to quickly screenshot it and send it to somebody that's very simple all you have to do is you see this camera icon here you just tap on it and you see the screenshot has been saved successfully what if you notice something going on in your area and you want to record it directly to your phone all you have to do is tap on this video recording icon here you tap on it and it immediately starts recording you see so when you are done recording, you just tap on this again and it will stop recording. You see, when I stop it, the recording is saved automatically to the album and that's it.